So uh, the, the main idea is whenever you find a new word, you would like to translate uh, and make an example. But there is another important thing that you have to think about is that you have to write words that uh, have real meaning for you. Yes? Because you, you read books and you read articles and you, and you read uh, something that is really interesting for you. And you... Uh, when you're reading, you you uh, find words that words that the, if you don't know the meaning, if you don't know the idea of the of the reading. So you have to to write down the word, look up the look up uh, for the word in the dictionary, and uh, write the word, uh, write the meaning, and also write two or three t sentences, uh, but uh, with the context. Yes. Uh, that is important, and, and, and I want to share with you some uh, another uh, tip. Uh, when I uh, was uh, looking for words at the uh, online uh, Langman online dictionary, I, I found this this uh, uh, this thing that they give us if we, if we want. You can you can. Um, uh, have a word, the word of the day. And they send you a word every day, and you also can choose the level of the words they, they send you. Mm -hmm. So you can choose intermediate level or, uh, or um, advanced. advanced level, and they, they send you words every day, and uh, you can uh, uh, find the, the meaning of the word and two sentences. And I also and I also try to memorize the sentences because they are uh, common common sentences and common usage of the word. You you do exercises with with your partners, and and they give you the the, the meaning of the word, and you have to say the word, and you have to 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 spell, to, it. to spell it, and you have to write it down, and you have to to give an example, give an example one or two examples, and that. That's that is helping you and it's helping your partner to to know a new world as well. Thank you. 
You need to uh, first, well, uh, check the dictionary, find what is the stress, mark the stress, and 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 all the. What is the name? The linking. The link. The link. Yeah. Examples uh, is is uh, a good way to memorize uh, the 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 meaning of the word. I I don't have a clear example, so I don't know if you have. Here examples to show. I have here, but for example, what I've done is that I find the word, and then the example for me is the the exact context from which I took the, the new word. The word. So, yes. uh, and then sometimes I will create different examples. So it's that I will never use that particular context. Uh, I, I don't use, usually talk like that, but mm -hmm. usually communicate like that. So I will try to, to how would I use this, this word? And the thing is that um, I find out that in English, sometimes you, when you um, are faced with a new word, you try to, to take a look at the meaning. But if you, uh, you don't take the context, a, a particular word can have like 30 or different meanings. So you're going to be lost in, the, in translation because you would like just to, to know the word where you need really the context, and that's particularly important in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's important to, to uh, the exercise of testing each other with the, about the words, because it's not only uh, write down the word and write the meaning and uh, write two examples, it, it's important to memorize the word. And this, this uh, exercise of testing each other is, is, is uh, useful because of that. And you uh, will read the definition uh, right. to your partner, uh, ask the, the word, and uh, they are supposed to know the word, so they are going to give you the word. Mm -hmm. You will ask them how uh, it is spelled, they mm -hmm. will spell it for you, they, they will write it down, and, and then um, they will give you an example. And the other important thing is, uh, it's not only writing or, or just the definition, but it will also improve your speaking. Because you will need to think the word how it's spelled, and you will actually try to explain uh, the the word and the definition. And when you create an example, you are actually using that word. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. kind of you you now own the word and the meaning, and you can express and use the word in a in a in everyday context. situation. Exactly. And another exercise with this with, with this is uh, to use technology actually to share the, your vocabulary. So we have a web page when you can write the, the new word, add the definition and put the context. Mm -hmm. And your, your uh, partners or colleagues will be aware of that in new word. And um, we tried to do, to do an experiment on sending SMS uh, text yes. messages. Uh -huh. Okay, so for example, whenever I, I found a new word, which I think it was a, a, actually good, yeah, I, I will send you a text message. Mm -hmm. So for example, I didn't know. I remember what that, that was like to, well, I, I, I don't recall, but uh, a new, a new example. So, and I will say like the word or the expression mm -hmm. to you. So uh, you're going to pick the expression, and you will say, "I don't actually know what what what, what is this." 
-hmm. and you are going to research what was the the the, the meaning of the of the yeah yeah but a limitation was that not everybody responded in, mm -hmm. in the in the same way so someone sent a lot of e uh, text messages but no one no one replied or no one sent me sent uh, but, for example but, but the, the text was sent to one person or to the to the team, team to the, the idea team was team. like for example i send you a, a text message you send her a text message ah, and she, okay. she sent me so to share yeah or